Hi, welcome to Sherry Knits. I love knitting and I want you to love it too. Today, I'm going to show you how to weave in your ends like a pro. Don't dread it, it's a part of the process. Let's get started. Hi, hey, let's take a look at how to weave in your ends and feel really good about it. We're gonna take a look at this process in four different um, stitch patterns, garter stitch, stockinette stitch, I've got some ribbing, and seed stitch. Let's start with, um, let's start with the garter stitch. I'm gonna use a strand of yarn that is a different color so you can see exactly what I'm doing, where I'm going. Um, obviously, normally you would be using the same color to weave in your ends, but um, just for demo purposes, I'm gonna be using this pretty blue. Um, so to start, in garter stitch, what you wanna do is take a look at the stitches and uh, at the back of the stitches, you're gonna see a smile and a frown, a smile and a frown, smile, frown. You wanna pick one of those. Let's go ahead and pick the smile. And then you're gonna take the needle with the yarn on it and go up a smile. I'm gonna leave a little bit of yarn there. You, you don't wanna, it too close to the end because it'll just all come out. So we'll leave a little bit of yarn up the smile and then skip the frown and go down the next smile. Skip the frown, up the smile, skip the frown, go down the smile and continue doing that. Oh, maybe an inch, inch and a half. It depends on the yarn you're using. If you have something really slippery, you wanna go a little bit further. Uh, if you're using 100% wool or a wool blend, you don't have to go quite as far. So this last one, I went up the smile. So now I'm gonna backtrack a couple times and I'm gonna go back through those same um, smiles that I went through before. And since I went up this one, I'm gonna come back and go down this smile up this smile and then I'm just going to do it one more time. So I usually do like two to four depending. Um, by going up and down, up and down, you're you're locking in that yarn and then backtracking is just an extra, extra lock for you. Now you can just cut it and I would leave about a, um, about a quarter inch or so because again, if you cut this too short, it's just gonna pop out and then you trim it and it pops out and you're not gonna end with any uh, end up with any yarn left. So that's how I like to weave in in garter stitch. All right, now we're going to look at how to weave in ends in stockinette stitch. And usually for stockinette stitch, the knit side is the right side, the public side that people see. So you wanna weave in the ends on the purl side um, or the wrong side. It's very similar to what we did in garter stitch. And normally your yarn is going to be um, attached because you've like changed yarns and it's hanging down. So today, because um, I don't have the ends actually hanging down, I'm using a separate piece of yarn. But it's the similar situation where you're looking for the smile and the frown, smile, frown. They're going to be closer together because garter stitch um, is spread out more, but we're gonna stick with the smiles and we're gonna go up a smile and down a smile, skipping the frown, up the smile, skip the frown, down the smile. And the nice thing about this is you don't see it from the other side. It, it's pretty stretchy. It doesn't affect um, the stretch of the garment. So here again, I ended by going up a smile. So I'm gonna circle back. And now I'm gonna go down that last smile that I went through, up and down. And this will really hold through wear and washing, especially if you have animal fibers, wools, cause it'll start just sticking to itself. Again, cut the yarn, leaving about a quarter inch, and then we'll go into ribbing. 
And with ribbing, it's kind of fun because what you're doing is you're actually hiding the yarn in the knit stitch on the back. And so I'm just going to follow the right side of the knit stitch. I'm gonna scoop it from right to left, right to left, right to left, and pull it through a little bit. And then once you go up a little ways, you're going to cross over to the left side of that knit stitch and go down again, right to left, but work your way down. And since I have two columns of knit stitches, I'm gonna go ahead and go up the next column also. And you can grab every stitch or you can skip if you want. Um, and usually I would go up, down, up, and then back down a little bit. So I'm gonna now go down the left leg of the stitch, capturing it from right to left. And again, you're just gonna cut, leave them about a quarter inch. And when you look at the other side, it's hidden in there. You don't see it, even though it's blue, you can't see, see that as well as the stockinette. You can kind of see shadows of the blue because it's a contrast, but normally you would have um, the same color and so you, won't, you wouldn't see it. So now we're gonna go to seed stitch and let's get some more yarn threaded here. And seed stitch is, um, it's kind of interesting. You're still doing a similar thing with smiles and frowns, and it's actually gonna be the frowns that you see the best. And you're just gonna go up a frown. Now you have to skip to a different level, down a frown. Oop, I split my yarn there. And then up the frown, down. Continue doing that across. And again, now we're gonna backtrack and just go through those same stitches you went through before, just to circle back and secure it a little bit better. And there is your seed stitch. Um, so yeah, you can take all these different ways that I showed you, the basic back of stockinette and ribbing, and if you have cables or anything more intricate, you can apply all these techniques into those different fabrics. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Please check out the um, different links I have in my description for Instagram, Facebook, Ravelry, lots of good stuff there. And if you've never checked out Twisted Yarn Shop, Check out the link to Twisted, the, the great yarn store with lots of good um, yarn and supplies. And if you buy something through my link, it helps the channel. See you next time.